Hey everyone, this is Rasko, and welcome to part 3 of the LP of Chrono Trigger. In the last part, we traveled through time and found out that, well, Marley's actually Princess Nadia from our time. Yeah, we went back approximately 300 years, I want to say. At least 100 years, actually, I think that's 100. Oh, I don't have enough for the dark gun. It's $800 and we only have 589. Well, I have enough of bro two bronze helmet, though, I believe. Yeah, I do. That should be enough for now. Yeah, um... Uh... Tonics? Tonics past me? No, I'm an idiot. Yeah, I didn't take up any tonics. I'm an idiot. Uh. So yeah, let's equip those bronze helm at least to get out some of that stuff. Now, it's up to you guys how you play this game. Um, certain um, um, items, like uh, the slight sight scope, um, for, in this case, Luca, would be actually a good idea to keep because you want to keep an eye on the enemy's HP. Like I said last part, the only thing that you cannot see are boss HP, and we'll get to that much later. Ow. Sorry. Ugh. So yeah, let's get our butts moving. Now, if you guys remember, that cathedral doesn't exist in our time. So, let's go there. Cathedral. Yay, a church. So yeah. Now, this wasn't odd back in the days that a cathedral would be not far next to the, to the castle. I shouldn't have oversaved on this one, just in case. I shouldn't have saved there because just in case something goes wrong. And since this isn't a let's play, something will go wrong. Unless the let's play curse doesn't exist in this one and then I'll be thank freaking god. So yeah, come on. This is the only thing I don't like is that when you exit all the menus and all that, it takes a while to entering battle. I know it's a... Uh, it's to... back then it was to load up something. I'm not that much of an idiot, like, I know it was to load a new area, or load music, or something. We want anything more than world peace, or peace of the world, tee hee! Huh? That's odd. You might... Like to stick around the organ. What? People wouldn't know what to do with themselves, truly peaceful world. I mean, what a delightful looking human. Uh... What? Oh dear, looks like some food and rest. Um, to rest. What the hell? What did you find? A hairpin. The Guardia's royal crest. Uh, yeah, these aren't nuns. Colonel's like, I've seen this shit enough times. <laughs> so yeah. Come on. Here we go. So here we have. Oh, come on, tech, tell me I hit. Cyclone, yes! Okay. You don't have a tech yet. So, yeah. This is the sight scope in action. It tells you the HP of the enemy. Uh, yeah, they call they don't call it uh, na, uh, Nagara. They call it nag, Naga Et. It's like, what? Yeah, Cyclone. Might as well do as much damage as I can. And get out as many enemies as I can. Oh, come on! Just die! I hate when that happens. Now, I'm not afraid of actually dying to these nuggets. Because you're not supposed to. There we go. Critical hit with Luca. Now, this... The love slow spell will only affect male party characters. It will harm you still if you have a female party character. But it won't slow your speed down. Oh, come on. Uh, yeah, Chrome's been hit by this spell a lot of times. But yours, it only affects you your character once. So you don't... Really, Luca? You couldn't even finish it off. 
Ow, ow. I cannot wait to get one specific item. God damn. For those wondering what I'm going to be talking about, it's going to be a little later down the playthrough, but it's going to be one of the most useful fucking items ever. There. Dead. Only one left. Oh, 35 HP. Yay. Come on. Oh, I was hoping Chrono would be faster than the attack. What? Oh, come on! Die! Thank you! There we go. Four tech points. Found 320 gold. Chrono level up. Luca level up. Luca learn flame toss. Dual tech. Wor fire world. Now, these are what I was talking about. Dual techs. Triple techs. Uh, dual tech, what it was, is that it's a simple tech that allows you to... Oh, shit! Luca! What the... Uh... Lowering down guard or Delta allowing the enemy in. Delta are safe, the queen. The lair is deep within. A, a frog! Colonel, what's a talking frog? I hate frogs, my guys. Very well. But I shall save the queen. Wait. You don't seem like a bad per, uh, person frog uh, thing. What you want to do? Go with the frog. Handle, I mean, deal with him. Oh, god damn it. What's your name? For now, we are going to call him Frog. Yes, he has an action. This is a person that's been turned into a frog, quite literally, via magic via magic spell. For now, we're going to keep his name as Frog, but again, no spoilers in the comments and seeing who. Frog will do. <laughs> nice to meet you, Frog. May have a hinder door looks nigh. Oh, god damn. Should we look? Yes. We should, so you can stop your goddamn he old English. What the hell? Uh, yeah. <laughs> he comes with some of the best armor to this point. He comes with a power glove, bronze edge, bronze helm. That bronze, uh, slurp, slurp, cut, cyclone, slash, cyclone, slash, there's, uh, fire whirl. Yeah, these are what I was talking about. Now, in this case, Luca's gonna throw some, in fire whirl, we're gonna be using it a bit, quite a bit, when we have a lot of enemies surrounding us, or right in front of us, all grouped up. It's a cyclone slash with fire damage, and it does some extremely powerful damage. Oh, hello there. Yeah, so welcome to the first dungeon. Or, yeah, dungeon. I'm going to call it dungeon. Because that's really what it is. So yeah, here there's a decent amount of strong enemies. They're all between level 3 to 5. And Chrono's first hit, a critical. Yeah, goodbye. Yeah, Frog does 38 base damage to a some point degree. That is ridiculous this early in the stage. But Frog is also carrying a uh, more powerful weapon, which helps a lot. Now, what? Bef okay, we're going to lose Frog at the end of the party, at the end of this whole mission thing. Before fully saving the Queen and going back to the castle, if you want to be a dick, you can remove all of Frog's inventory... And give it to Chrono or any other party member. The sword will go to Chrono, but everyone else there will be that much. Frog, dude, but some people do this just to get the rare items early on. Uh, okay. There's the capture of Chancellor to take his poor perfectly. Now the Queen's captive and the castle's in uproar about it. Ugh. Look at the Mega Statue before your shift. So yeah, if you follow this guy, um, usually you gotta be a little faster. If you look to your right, come on, look to the right, there's like a little indentation. That's to say there's something there. Now, I go back to do this, but you're here, said the Queen, what a relief. Um... 
Got one ether. And come to rescue me. The master is very kind. I've decided to stay here. No. Uh. Okay. Their shit is going on. Dill is available. Uh, Dill be session. Hurry, enjoy yourselves. Yeah, I think no matter what happens, you get a battle here. So yeah, this is obviously shows that the monsters can take a human form and you know disguise themselves and go around areas. Yeah, I screwed up. Oh, come on, you're not dead. There you go, now you should be dead. Yeah, the battle screen for your characters and the enemy characters are always going to be in different areas depending on how big the area or where you're attacking from or how you're attacking from. Because they want to make sure you can see your characters all the time. Yeah, just flame toss. Yeah, that's flame toss. It's a ma it's a magic item attack technically, but it shows how powerful it is. 110 points instantly killed one of these guys. Yeah, the magic early on is going to be powerful. Later on in the game, it's going to be not as good, but still re revelant. Re revelant. Yes, me and talking, not good. Oh, oh, shit, Chrono's really hurting. Luca just needs one. Uh, Chrono will be fine for now. So, yeah, like I said, it, the second you get into this room, head towards the right, you'll see the indentation. Go in there and you'll see a Maga statue. You'll get some rare items. You'll have two treasure chests with something in it. I forgot. We'll get to it later. But, yeah. Uh, the reason I forgot is that it's just like, bleh, where is it again? Yeah, that one came out of nowhere. Now, I believe Cyclone, where Chrono is standing, can hit those two enemies. Hit. Uh, hits that... Spinning Dragon Kick. Ah, oh, he moved just in time, the little shithead. <sighs> yeah, the little guy just moved just in time, so Chronos can. Chronos. Chrono can hit him with his uh, cyclone attack. Yeah, see, this is what I mean. Frog is not gonna take a lot of damage until you get to the boss. And even there, it still takes some time. And even there, sometimes the only way the boss is going to hurt you is if you do something to it. Now, I'll explain how the boss works when we get there, which is going to be the next part, believe it or not. We're actually going through this game relatively faster than I expected. I only have like an hour and something recorded. An hour and a half, maybe. And that's not enough for this game. It, it got me up to maybe four parts, unless I split the next one into... Unless I split the next uh, sections into two parts, which would probably be the good idea. Just to get five parts for this week, but... Way to go, Luca. See, Luca sometimes can do more damage with her hammer than her gun. But, you know, as time goes on, as we gain our more weapons and all that... The guns are going to do a lot more damage, but I think the guns are also causing her to do uh, her physical damage with her hammer. Ooh, treasure chests. Hello. Maiden suit. Tonic. Ether. Naga bro bromide. Naga bromide. What? They're after the bromide! I got them! Uh... What? So I believe here's where I start actually start using Flame Toss. Ah, uh, Fire Whirl, sorry. Ah, uh, good enough. Oh, I got all three! Sweet, just to say. Yeah, 176. Yeah, that is ridiculous. 
That is awesome, but ridiculous. Colonel's level up. Alright, so we got this bromide item. Believe it or not, it's not actually an item. Not in our inventory, anyways. Uh, if you go down, you'll, you won't see it. Uh, yeah, uh, heal Colonel. Uh, don't need to heal Frog yet. Oh, Power Tab, that's right. Uh, the, the Power Tabs is up to you and how you want to use them. I usually use them for the main character. Uh, either Chrono or any character I really have a lot in the party. Which we'll get to later on. Yeah. So yeah, I was like, what is this bromide? There's nothing here. Oh yeah. The maiden suit. Might as well give it to her. Yeah, it's actually a lot more powerful than I realized. I was like, wait, what? Uh, yeah, I was like thinking about removing his items, but I was like, Pfft. I keep it on him. Mostly because, again, I mentioned this, we lose frog earlier that we lose frog, but we do gain frog back later on. Very much. Ooh, a steel saber. Hello. Girl, better equip that. Yeah, that helps. Now, the broadsword would also help Chrono a lot there, but... By the time we leave this area, you should have more than enough money... That... Um, you'll be able to buy the load sword in the Millennial Fair. Yes, we managed to go back. It will take some time, but we do go back. Room dedicated to Magus. Heard something about treasure being there. Oh, right. <laughs> You're human. They're hiding the queen in the back. Please rescue her. Okay. One power tap. Again. Oh, they really want us to have these power taps. So, yeah. You know what? Let's go check out that room. Ah, oh, shit. He hit frog. Yeah, it doesn't matter who, which party member your the enemy hits. As long as it hits one of them, it will... In Initiate a battle. God damn, I really can't talk. Oh, wow. 54 instant kill. Oh, can't do the same for them. Yeah, Frog takes little to no damage for some reason, but then again, he's carrying some powerful items, and a lot of his items are... Ooh. Dot dead. Dead now. Jesus Christ, Chrono's critical hit ratio has gone up the roof. Ooh, slurp cut. X-Strike, sweet. X-Strike is a powerful dual tech with Frog and Chrono. It's You both do a slash attack in the mark of an X. Hence the word X-Strike. Hence why it's called X-Strike. Oh, nope, don't need to come back here, so... Yeah, only you need to come here once to initiate the talk about the Magnus thing. But even if you don't, you rescue those soldiers. They're going to mention Magnus statues in somewhere in this room. So you might as well check every room. Again, I was like, okay, wait, no, wait. Just the indentation. That's right. Oh, dearest Magus, your flashing eyes like star and flowing hair. No sad sunny day nor... A bright place can get us down as long as you're near. There is nothing to fear. Uh, this sounds more like a cult. Oh, Magus, Magus, our hero, Magus. Uh, one speed belt. And... Come on. One defender. Come join us. Okay. Yeah, shit. Now, I was tempted to use the combo uh, X, X strike, but seeing on how close these guys are together. Oh, that is beautiful to not get just moved in and got killed. 
Yeah, uh, when you use a dual strike, you gotta wait for the ally to do it also. Slow spell. I believe it goes for frog, but doesn't affect them. Now, this is to indicate that, like I said earlier, it says that um, it doesn't affect female party members, but also doesn't affect party members that aren't human. Mostly it affects a male human, so Kronos is going to get affected, seeing he's we're the only male human in the party. Well, yeah, we're the only human male party member. Defender. Vigor plus two increases your stamina. Yeah, stamina is equal to defense. There we go. Ah, I was like, nah. Better keep this freaking sight scope. Just in case. I know it doesn't work on bosses, but you never know. I love having the sight scope just to have, you know, the ability to see how much damage I need to do or how much damage is left on, you know, how much HP an enemy actually has. Uh, yeah, you're gonna finally need one. Oh god, I'm running low on tonics. Uh, you know what? No. Up one. Oh, that was stupid of me. Then again, Chrono Trigger does have, I believe, a new game plus mode. If I remember correctly. It's been a long time since I've actually done it. Ow. Sorry. <laughs> Misstretched something. <sighs> I don't want to fight you guys. I really don't... Stop! Intruders! Gah! Oh, they came out of nowhere. Alright, time to slice and dice these guys. So yeah, Diablos is the little uh, statue. Those guys could do the spinning uh, dragon kick. Uh, X-Strike. Nah. Just... Fuck, I screwed up. Yeah, I just saw that. I was like, well... Shit. I screwed up. Oh, you're not dead? Oh. Overkill. Oh, come on. There you go. Yeah, you're gonna die. Goodbye. <laughs> This is weird that Luca's hammer does more damage than her pistol. Then again, we don't have a powerful pistol. The dart gun would be a better idea. If you would actually to leave now and come back, all these monsters would be respawned. But at least you would have your dart gun, better gear, you know, more tonics, tents, which is something I should have freaking took, but I didn't. Um, a tent, or in this case, I believe it's... Yeah, it's a tent. It's called a tent. I think it's still called a tent. Oof. Ugh. Screw it. No, oh, that's my last one. Oh, that hurts. Yeah, we'll be getting better items later on. And I believe this is going to be the last battle. Yep. Because we're soon nearing this part, so... Okay. God damn it. Yeah, it just shows who's supposed to be using it. Oh, beautiful. Fire roll hit all four. Insta death. Goodbye. 230 points of damage to most. Now, um, flame wave, or fire wave, I should say, that Luca has. If the enemies are in line, it will hit multiple enemies. Um, um, frog has slurp and slurp cut. Um, oh, I'll explain the next part. Anyways, this part's going to end, so join me next time. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you, have a good day or night, and take care.